Welcome back to the channel. If you've recently installed the latest version of macOS on VirtualBox, or maybe an older version of macOS on VirtualBox, and during the installation, you're getting these boot loops where it's going through the installation process, it's copying over all the files, it reboots, and then all of a sudden you're back at the installation screen again. And it happens over and over, and it's an infinite loop. Well, there's one thing that I found that can fix this problem, so let's take a look. So we're at the Windows 10 desktop and I have VirtualBox over here and I'm just gonna open it up right now. There is no virtual machines running right now and you wanna make sure that if you have a session going right now, make sure you have it completely shut down. So I'm using macOS Monterey as an example because a lot of people had that issue, mostly with the beta version, which is interesting, um, but I had the problem with the full release, which was this one right here. And the main thing that you wanna do is make sure it's shut down, then you can select the virtual machine on the left-hand side and click on the settings button. Inside the settings, you're gonna click on system and we're gonna go over to the processors tab. Now I know in all my videos going up to this point, I'm always saying max out the green space, put as many CPUs as you can. But for some reason, when you're installing macOS in VirtualBox and you're getting these boot loops, you actually wanna decrease this down to two CPUs. Now two CPUs will help you through this installation in most cases and allow you to continue through and install the operating system. Once you have the operating system installed, you can go back in here and play with the settings, see if increasing it helps you or doesn't help you. And the reason why I'm saying that is you're going to want to increase that is because you want to get the most CPU power to run it as smoothly as possible because macOS is a little bit flaky. So that's what you want to do. You want to go inside here under the processors tab, decrease it to two, click on OK, make sure your settings are saved. You can then go ahead and click on start, boot up your virtual machine. It should go back to that phase where it always restarts, but now it should allow you to continue the installation all the way through. For me, that helped. I'm not taking credit for this. I found a references to this fix on virtualbox.org, their forum, as well as on GitHub, my spaghetti. There's lots of references to people downgrading to two CPUs, and that seems to be fixing the issue. If I can find the very specific one that I found that refers to this method, I'll put it in the description below. But I hope this helps you. This should fix the boot loop issue for most users, especially with macOS Monterey. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you know anything else that helps fix this problem, please put it in the comments below. Once again, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one, guys.